you're going to get an opportunity today uh, that very few people have been afforded, and that's really an inside look uh, as to what our proposal entails from a technical architecture standpoint. You know, this, uh, I'm going to try to stay away from some of the uh, political and regulatory uh, nonsense that's going on around this whole uh, process, but, you know, it's very important for everybody to understand this is no easy task. And there's very few people that are very, or companies that are very capable or capable enough to embark on this type of a project. So I want you to make the most of your time. We're going to do a couple things. I, I'm going to come back. I'll speak a little bit later. But what we're going to do to start with is we want to make sure you have the opportunity to actually see the technology. That is really critical that you, you get a chance to do that. You are exposed to some of the major elements of what we're going to have to do to do this. And uh, the other thing that I'd like to, you know, and I'm, I'm sure on the state the obvious, this is a very pristine environment. And uh, what you saw is going to be repeatable process-wise across all of Australia. And it's going to be in some of the harshest environments. And in order to hit the time frames that are specified, this is going to be a build that is going to go basically 24 hours a day, seven days a week, uh, if there's any shot at a five-year type uh, uh, plan. We have 900 engineers that have spent the better part of the last three plus years working on this. I think it's very critical for you to understand that. There is no way anybody else that started in April is anywhere near where we are. Plain and simple. And I'll go head to head with anybody that wants to. And I'll take this team. This team of people, by the way, is world class. That word gets used a lot. I've had the benefit of almost 39 years of doing this kind of stuff. Older technologies, different environments, but building HFC networks, microwave networks, mobile networks, copper, fiber, and the capability and the skill set is second to none. This team can go anywhere and build in any environment. And it's well thought out and well planned. It's not something that's been thrown together in five or six months for various purposes. The fact of the matter is it's going to take a company like Telstra, and there's only one like Telstra in Australia, to do this. And that's why I, I started with this is a very risky thing. It is going to be difficult. I want to be clear on this. With all of our skill, all of our capability, all of our experience, and all the resources we can bring to the table, which is more than anybody else can, realistically. And it's embedded here, because we're going to build this. Yes, we will use contractors, as we have in other cases. But it's going to be driven and managed by our people. We're going to have one heck of a time doing it. And I have been very vocal internally that this it, this is not going to be easy to do. And anybody that thinks it will be doesn't know wh what they're dealing with. And uh, it, it's, a very, it's, a, it's a tough task. It's a huge project. It's got to be managed every minute of every day very tightly, or the cost blowout on it will be exponential. And the outcome could be a nightmare uh, for everybody uh, involved. And we are not, if we build it, we're not going to allow that to happen. And I just can't imagine the others. And I know some of the other people. And it's not that they're not good people. But it's the amount of resource. It's the amount of focus. It's, it's the ability to maintain incredible focus for a long period of time. It's like running a marathon at a sprint. You know, that's, that's what you're doing. You're trying to run a marathon at a sprint pace. 